Your Grace, Bishop Silwan, Your Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Serbia, Mr. Rade Stefanovic, Consul, Ms. Yasmina Pekmezovic, very, very Reverend Fathers, distinguished guests, dear sponsors of the Serbian Film Festival, festival friends, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the 21st Annual Serbian Film Festival. It is our privilege to acknowledge and welcome our special guest, Mr. Andrasa Vaskaya, the Trade Commissioner from the Embassy of Hungary. If you haven't already switched off your mobile phones or placed them on silent, please do so now. Thank you. Vaše preosveštenstvo, Vaša Excelencijo, visoko prečasni i časni oci, uvaženi gosti, poštovani pokrovitelji Srpskog filmskog festivala, dame i gospodo, dobroveče. Dobrodošli na otvaranje 21. festivala Srpskog filma u Australiji. Pre nego što počnemo sa programom otvaranja, molim vas da isključite vaše mobilne telefone ili ih utišate. Hvala. Let us begin by acknowledging that we are here today on the traditional land of the Aboriginal people. We would like to pay our respects to the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation as the traditional custodians of this land. We would also like to pay our respects to the elders, both past and present and emerging, and extend that respect to any other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders here today. Prior to starting with our official program and speeches, I would like to welcome Ethno Guru Lazarikon, who will tonight sing for us Morma by Dubravka Ugarković, accompanied on violin by Hizostom Yang Yu. Please welcome Dragana Milanovic, Anika Popovic, Orza Kanic, and Yang Yu. What a phenomenal performance. Thank Lazarikon again. Please, another round of applause. In its 21st year, the Serbian Film Festival has become an iconic national event, touring all major Australian cities, including Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Perth. This year, the festival has brought to the Australian audience five contemporary films from the latest Serbian production, and one film from the 1960s held by the Yugoslav Film Archives. 
adding to well over 150 Serbian feature and documentary films that have been screened throughout the past 20 years in Australia. Connecting the Serbian community in Australia to the language and cultural production of their homeland, the Serbian Film Festival is gaining popularity, prestige and significance, attracting audiences all around the country. The country. Maintaining this connection is vital to the survival of the Serbian language and culture in Australia, especially among the generations who were born here. Film titles, trailers, as well as tickets and purchasing information and other festival information are listed on the Serbian Film Festival website, being www.serbianfilmfestival.com.au. In the 21st century, the Serbian Film Festival has a cultural and national event that is held in all the main cities in Australia, in Sydney, Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth. Za ovogodišnji filmski festival odabrano je pet filmova iz najnovijeg ostvarenja srpske kinematografije. Heroji Halijada, Heroes of Halijad, režiser Radoš Bajić, Čuvari formule, Kibež od Fomila, režiser Dragan Bjelogrlić, Što se bore misli moje, The Duke and the Poet, režiser Milorad Milinković, Leto kada sam naučila da letim, How I Learned to Fly, režiser Radivoja Andrić, Munje opet, Do It Again, režiser Radivana Andrić i jedan iz arhive Jugoslovenske kinoteke Ljubav i moda, Love and Fashion iz 1960. godine režiser Ljubomir Ličević We would now like to welcome the director of the Serbian Film Festival and my kuma I'm very proud of her and I've gone a little bit off script but we really have to acknowledge the work and effort that goes into not only preparing the film festival, but all of our community projects that both her and my Pokoini Kum, Pera Kozlina, have done over the last 21 years. And I really want um, us to give a very loud acknowledgement for Milica Kozlina. Thank you. I'll just invite her now to come and say a few words. Just before I start acknowledging everybody, I would just like to first uh, thank Lazarikon, thank these wonderful MCs tonight here, and I hope that one day they will be doing what I'm doing now. Your Grace, Bishop Silo and Your Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Serbia, Mr. Rade Stepanovic, very reverend fathers, distinguished guests, dear sponsors of the Serbian Film Festival, festival friends, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Serbian Film Festival Incorporation, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all here tonight. It is my privilege also to acknowledge uh, Mr. Antash Rashi, the attache, the attache from the Hungarian consulate. Thank you for coming and supporting us. The festival each year, as you just heard, relies on selfless efforts of teams of volunteers. So it's not just many, it's a lot of people. We've got, I think, about 80 volunteers throughout Australia to put this festival on. So these people are all from our Serbian community around Australia. Personally, I have to thank them really all, and I do thank them all. Because Serbian Film Festival, they, they wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for all these volunteers. We are actually, in fact, all volunteers, because Serbian Film Festival is a non-for-profit organization. So we rely on every one of our goodwills to get this event on. Now I would really like to thank all our sponsors, because again, without them, it would be very hard to you know, get everything together on the side. I wish to thank all our Redwood family and other sponsors for their support over the years. It means so much to us. Bell Group, Lasso Despotovic, the founding from the very beginning. Our partner, Hoyt Cinemas, who have been wonderful with us. They have been uh, doing this for 21 years with us, so I thank the management. Uh, daily newspaper, Vesti. Weekly, Serbian Voice, Mr. Zoran Potinic, Miss Teve and tonight his beautiful two sons who are actually recording all this. SBS Radio, TV Plus, Star Configuration, Design Q, and our new sponsors this year, the gold sponsor CQS Taxation and Bookkeeping, uh, Mrs. Andriana Drpa, and uh, another sponsor, Unity Group, Nina Markovic-Kaze. I thank you all. 
We also extend our appreciation to the Serbian festival Sibi, which actually my Kung just did a week ago. So I think we can actually call the, mar uh, the March uh, the um, month of the festivals. And if, it, if we can, I would like this to continue so it can be actually March or whatever, cult Serbian cultural days. So we go one after another. Uh, there's also St. Sava College, a very worthy organization. I mean, not organization, it's uh, one of the first private schools. And uh, Renda Village is here tonight. So please, we need to support this college because that's the future. All our children are really the future for us. St. Simeon Aged Care, another uh, metropolitan organization that actually looks after elderly. So that's very important. We are actually, I think, all, I mean, I know, I'm going that way. Um, and lastly, I have to really uh, express my fond gratitude and uh, thanks to the Embassy and the Consulate of the Republic of Serbia. Um, we have really had a very good relationship. I thank Mr. Rade Stepanovic. He's been supporting us really great. We even got uh, one of the fundings this year, so after a long time. So thank you, Rade, for doing all this, and Yasmina, who's giving us so much support. Now, I'm not going to talk any further, but I do have to say something about the actual opening movie. I was fortunate enough to be in Serbia last year, and uh, because the uh, Serbian Film Festival has a long-standing relationship with the, uh, with the Conscious Studios, these are the people that are actually producing this film tonight that we're going to watch, and my personal friend, Radoš Pajic, who has, I think this is very important, to get something like this, it's not really, you really have to be something. He has given us the exclusive right for this movie, so we are the first one in Australia to showcase this movie tonight. And I really thank him. <laughs> and I thank the uh, Conscious Studios. Now, lastly, our festival con uh, continuation and success really relies immensely on public attendance. We encourage you to invite your friends, your family, even the non-speaking uh, Serbian people, this year we have so many good movies that I think three of them are really good that even the foreign, you know, the, the other audience uh, throughout Australia can actually look at them. Because without you, without other people, this festival is not going to be possible because this is what we rely on. This is where we get the funding for to be able to pay for the next year's movies. I thank you for coming tonight and I hope you're gonna see a lot more people over the next fortnight. As I said, the films are really good, and I hope you really do enjoy tonight's movie that's been in making five years. Thank you. Asada, pozivam ambasadora Republike Srbije, njegovu ekscelenciju gospodina Radeta Stefanovića, da otvori ovaj 21. festival srpskog filma u Australiji. Vaša ekscelenciju. Vaše preosveštenstvo, časni oci, respected colleagues from the Consular Corps, dragi su narodnici, ladies and gentlemen. Veliko mi je zadovoljstvo da se obratim ponovo, drugu godinu za redom, na otvaranju festivala srpskog filma u Sidneju i sve vas srdačno pozdravim u ime Republike Srbije, ambasade u Kameri, generalno konzulata u Sidneju, mojih kolega i naravno u svoje lično ime. Having in mind all our guests and the time limits, uh, please allow me to continue only in English. It is a real pleasure to address you again for the second year in a row at the opening night of the Serbian Film Festival in Sydney and greet you all on behalf of the Republic of Serbia, on behalf of the colleagues from the Embassy and Consular General, and of course on my personal behalf. Allow me only, I'm aware of the time, uh, limited time, but uh, allow me to say only a few words and state only a few facts. We will see in soon a short clip about the history of the festival. This year we are opening the 21st edition of the Serbian Film Festival. That says a lot. That shows devotion and the commitment of Mrs. Milica Kozlina and her team, their tremendous efforts and strength to organize this year's event and to, to successfully continue the legacy of her late husband, Mr. Petar Kozlina. Thank you for that. I'm especially glad that the Republic of Serbia, not just through the, its diplomatic missions in Australia, could also contribute to the festival in a more substantial way with the financial support of the amount of 500,000 dinars, or around, around 700,000 700, Australian dollars, which were granted on the last year's public competition for the projects that 
their importance and quality represent the most important cultural manifestation for the Republic of Serbia and their Serbian diaspora abroad. I was an, uh, it was an honor for me to personally support that decision. This year, film lovers will have the opportunity to see five contemporary films, as you can hear, and with, for the late, uh, from the latest Serbian production, but also one classic from the 1960s. But I think that tonight's film, the film Heroes of Halyard, directed by Radoš Bajic, would especially attract the audience in Australia. This is, uh, this is a story inspired by the largest single rescue operation of Allied pilot behind the animalized in the history of the world's uh, aviation, known as Operation Halyard. In the summer of 1944, led by the Yugoslav Army in the homeland and under the command of General Dragoljub Mihailović, from the improvised airport in the village of Pranjami, the Serbian people rescued, saved 508 American and other allied, allied pilots from certain death. According to the U.S. Army Airborne and Special Operations Museum, Operation Halyard was, and I quote, the largest and the most successful rescue mission of American air crews in American history. Most people in the USA, especially in Serbia, have only recently started to learn about that part of our history. In 2020, the Memorial Center in the village of Pranjani has been opened by the government of the Republic of Serbia, and this year we will com commemorate the 80th anniversary of this operation. That would be another opportunity to pay, to pay our respect to the brave Serbian people, but also to strengthen the friendship with our allies and the brother in arms from the Second World War. At the end, I would like once again to congratulate the Serbian Film Festival and wish many more successful years. Also, I would like to uh, thank other valuable sp supporters and sponsors, and I will probably miss someone, so I, I apologize in advance. Uh, Film Center Serbia, Hoyt Cinemas, Bell Group Australia, Vesti Newspaper, Ser Serbsky Glass, Serbian Voice Weekly, as, as many others dedicated groups and individuals from the Serbian community throughout Australia, and we heard it's more than 80 of them. I, I invite you also to be present and to, to in, enjoy these 10 days of the Serbian Film Festival, to enjoy the films, to share that enjoyment with some of the friends, and uh, enjoy tonight's film and the festival. Thank you. A sada ćemo najprej pogledati kratki video, vreme plov 20 godina festivala srpskog filma u Australiji, a zatim je na redu reklani video i film Heroi Halijard, režisera Radoša Bajića, koji će otvoriti 21. po redu festival srpskog filma širom Australije. Uživajte u festivalu. And now we welcome the first to watch a short video from the Serbian Film Festival, being the 20 year timeline, followed by the trailers and the movie Heroes of Halyard, directed by Radio Špajić, which will open the 21st Serbian Film Festival across the country. Enjoy the festival. Well, fantastic film. I'm uh, very happy. This is our country. What happened in the war? civil rat, sve je skupljeno u jedan film. Znači, ceo taj, ceo redosled problema i, i, i borbe za preživljavanje je sve spojeno u filmu. Vidjelo se brat napada brata, ono sve što su nam govorili uh, očevi i dede, istino je ovdje pokazano. I really enjoyed my time here at the festival. I think what I really enjoyed about this one film was the symbolism, especially between the partisans and the Chetniks and the tragedy behind the warfare in, during the Second World War between Serbs themselves, how Serbs themselves were divided. And the symbolism of the white dove at the end really struck me because it displayed the unity that needs to be displayed between Serbs themselves and hopefully the overcoming of the tragedy of the Second World War. Right. Have you been to a Serbian festival film festival? This is my before? second time. First second time was time. in 2013. So I guess we'll be seeing you next year again? Yes, absolutely. It was a fantastic film. I think everyone should come and see it. I think the storyline encapsulates our culture and our story so well. It shows the Serbian hospitality whilst also managing to show the humanity of the Serbian people. I think it's it's a tragedy ultimately the film and I think that is encapsulates the Serbian spirit and, and our story. And I think, uh, you know, you, you have to come and see it. Uh, no, words can't describe. Fantastic film, fantastic choice. Great film to open the festival.